Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be playing a game that is a mystery element bingo. So you're going to use your periodic table in order to find these mystery elements that are being called out to you. So you know where to put your marker or place your X for your bingo card. Now your bingo cards, I placed some um, different bingo cards that you can print off in the video description. If you don't want to use mine or if you want to create your own, go ahead and make a bingo card using the element 1 through 18 on the periodic table and you will be good to go and set to play this bingo game. So this is traditional bingo like any other. Uh, if you get your bingo in a row or a column or a diagonal yell out bingo and you will win as long as you got them all correct. At the end of this video, I will be going over all of the answers um, to these bingo questions that I'm giving you so you can verify that you got the correct answers and that you really won your bingo card. So let's go ahead and get started. First one, it's in the second period and it has seven protons. So you can pause the video now, take a look at your periodic table, go to the second period and figure out which one in the second period has seven protons, identify that element, and then look on your bingo card. And if you have that element there, go ahead and place your marker on it, or you can go ahead and place an X on it just so you know you have that one on your card and it's marked off for you. Then you can go ahead and play and we'll do the next one. All right, so here we go. The next one is one electron and it is a gas. Pause here. All right, next one. A noble gas and it has 10 neutrons. You can go ahead and pause. Next one, soft white metal and it's in period three. All right, here we go to the next one. It's in group two and it has three energy levels. Go ahead and pause. Okay, next one, we have three valence electrons and it has six neutrons. Make sure you're pausing. Here we go. Two valence electrons and it is a gas. Next one, it is yellow and smelly and it's in group 16. Next one. It makes a diamond and it has the atomic mass of 12 amu. Next one, it's a halogen and it's in period two. Next one, it's a metalloid and it has 14 electrons. Next one, it's an alkali metal and it has four neutrons. Next one, it has 18 protons and it's a noble gas. Next one, it's an alkaline earth metal and it has the atomic mass of nine amu. Next one, it's malleable, ductile, and it has 13 protons. Next one, it's a yellow greenish gas and it's a halogen. <clears throat> Next one, five valence electrons and three energy levels. All right, next one, eight protons, electrons and neutrons. Next one. Okay, so we've gotten to the answers. So you can go ahead and pause here if you're not ready for it yet, but I'm gonna go through each one of the questions that we did, and I'm gonna give you the answer to what element it was, so you can verify if you got bingo or not. So here we go. If it was in the second period and it has seven protons, it is nitrogen. One electron and it's a gas, it's definitely hydrogen. 
A noble gas with 10 neutrons, that would be neon. Soft white metal with three uh, in period three is gonna be sodium. Group two with three energy levels is magnesium. Three valence electrons with six neutrons is gonna be boron. Two valence electrons and it's a gas, that's helium. It's yellow and smelly and it's in group 16, that's definitely sulfur. It makes a diamond an atomic mass of 12 amu, that's gonna be carbon. It's a halogen in period two, that's fluorine. A metalloid and it has 14 electrons, that's silicon. Alkali metal with four neutrons, that's lithium. 18 protons, and it's a noble gas, it's gonna be argon. Um, an alkaline earth metal that has an atomic mass of nine amu, that's beryllium. Malleable ductile and 13 protons, that's aluminum. A yellow greenish gas, that's also a halogen, is a, it's gonna be chlorine. It's five valence electrons and three energy levels is phosphorus. Eight protons, electrons, and neutrons, that is gonna be oxygen. I hope you guys won your bingo game. I hope you had fun with it. Thank you all for watching. So I hope you had fun playing this bingo game, you guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to Science Explained so you can see all the new videos that I'm posting. Thank you all for playing today. Bye, you guys.